This is the Felico Black Queen Limited Edition bottle of water, and it's one of the most expensive bottles of water on earth. You see, water falls from the sky, and it should cost zero dollars. But today, we'll be conducting a rigorous taste test of the Felico Black Queen. Crystal vibration water, magical alchemy water, bling water, bedazzled jewel water, and other luxurious bottled waters to see if they really are worth the price. Let's start this off from cheapest to most expensive. This is the Swarovski Crystal Fiji water bottle. This is one of very few. All right, this cap is bedazzled to the rim with Swarovski crystals. I'm assuming this is real, but I wouldn't really know. And this bad boy right here cost me roughly 50 bones on Etsy for a Fiji water bottle. Ridiculous, right? Anyways, it's time we give it a swig. I've cleansed my palate, let's give it a go. Ugh, putrid, disgusting. That was unexpected right there. Ugh. Despite these beautiful bedazzled Swarovski crystals here, the initial taste of this was rather ugh. I'm rather disgusted right now, to be honest. Ugh. My tongue is angry at me. It tastes like a glue stick, man. For what reason, I do not know. Next. Now, I'm particularly skeptical about this bottle of water right here. This is the beauty gem water. Now, this water is literally supposed to make you beautiful. By using crystal vibrations, apparently, it alters the water and allows you to become the man or woman of your dreams. The directions say you can turn ordinary water into extraordinary H2O in just seven to 10 minutes. So let's add the Fiji water to the crystal bottle here. Come on, baby, just enough. We're just gonna trust the process here. Cap it, and I've set a timer for seven minutes. All right, chug time, baby. Imagine I just drank this and became like five times more attractive. You know, it doesn't taste bad. It tastes better than the Fiji bottle it came from. Let's do a little scent test. I don't think this gem water has made me more beautiful. And this beauty gem bottle right here costs roughly $140. Next water bottle, the ASEA water. It is $50 per bottle of water. There's not really much aesthetic appeal in my opinion, but apparently that's not what I'm paying for. The $50 I paid is for the magic inside of the bottle this time around. Apparently this bottle of water contains redox molecules. I quote, cellular messengers that affect genetic expression in a positive way. So from what I'm reading right here, basically saying this water will restructure my genome. Imagine chugging one of these a day and literally spending $50 per day on water. A substance you can literally go outside and drink from the sky when it falls. Let's go for it. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. If you've ever been to a public pool and accidentally tasted the water, it has a very poignant scent to it, I must say. So let's taste it. Uh, uh, tastes like salt water, smells like chlorine. Uh, if you've ever accidentally tasted your own blood, you can kind of experience what's going on here. That's what it tastes like. If you ever had a bloody nose, it goes in your face, you just lick it. This is that. I don't understand how this would do all of the things it says it would do in my body. All this crazy stuff. Uh, <laughs> I can't get it out of my mouth. This stuff is truly disgusting. I will say it bluntly, but if it can do everything it says it does, this is worth chugging any day. Next, we have Bling H2. This thing only cost me 60 bucks, which to me is pretty reasonable given the other prices. The water in this bottle was bottled in Beverly Hills, fittingly enough. This bottle right here is gorgeous. It's bedazzled on the little H2O symbol right here. It has these metal spikes attached to the glass bottle that are pretty sharp, not gonna lie. All metal right here. This is the most baller bottle of water I've ever laid my hands on. You could beat someone up with this bottle. It's a makeshift club. Instant concussion right here, I promise. But anyways, you get the picture. It's sick looking. Let's taste the water, why don't we? Ready? Oh my god. That was an experience. I feel like I'm in a Beverly Hills nightclub right now. You ready for this? Oh my god. Hey, what's up, girl? Not to pry or anything, but you're looking a little dehydrated. All right, chug time. This is a very luxurious experience for me drinking out of this bottle. I'm not gonna lie. There's no other way to put it besides the fact that I feel like a king right now. You chug a little bit, you cap it right back on, you disarm your opponents and or enemies, flip it right side up, uncap it, break some bread with some brethren, or shoot, even some attractive females. What do I know? I give this bottle right here a 10 out of 10 on everything. But yeah, it's perfect. And one more for the road. You listening? Woo! Next. 
This is the Life Fuels water bottle, and it costs roughly $200. And it basically turns your noob, lame, normal water into epic, delicious, flavored, powerful water. This thing is highly complex. If we open it up here, we're gonna unclothe this sucker to reveal the prize itself. Here's the bottle. It smells highly carcinogenic, and I'm quite sure it is. If you turn this thing upside right and look at its butt cheek area, you'll see three little turd slots here. And this is where this all gets stupidly insane. These little turd slots are supposed to eat what are called fuel pods. This is the blackberry acai, the lemon lime, and the peach. Also, we have cleaning apparatus here. To clean my bottle, you penetrate the hole right here and you pull out. And apparently this bottle has a charger. It smells like a delightful mango smoothie right here. Beautiful, okay. I'm inserting the fuel pod into the hole here. Uh, little red light shows me that it's good to go. Here's the blackberry acai. We're gonna stick it in the hole here, see if it lights up. Boom, dang, this is sick, okay? Now that all three fuel pods are in this water bottle here, I'm gonna put this cap on. I'm gonna pour some Fiji water in here. There we go. And then I long press, apparently. Oh my God, let's go. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is epic. Drink it up. Folks, this is delicious. Did not expect it to taste that good. This is the iPhone of water bottles. Here's the cap right here, I'm gonna lick it. Dude, that flavor is insane. What is in these? These fuel pods are full of vitamins. If I have to give this a ranking, flavor is 15 out of 10. Broke my scale. One of the coolest things I've experienced. Just flavored water too. That is really cool. And shipped 5,312 miles across the world. We have the limited edition Black Queen. But before I tasted it, I went out in public, poured the Black Queen and a regular $1 water bottle into two separate cups, and I asked strangers if they could tell the difference in a blind taste test. How are you doing today? Pretty darn good, guys. Pretty good? Okay, you can open your eyes, Richard. Water. It tastes the same, man. Really? Which one costs $500? I'd say this one. That one's a little bit smoother. Uh, I'm a little biased because I feel like water tastes like water. <laughs> what are you thinking, Daniel? Uh, honestly, it kind of tastes the same. <laughs> it tastes the same? It does. Okay. Is it an orchestra on your taste buds or no? No. It's titillating to the senses? Yeah. Yeah? A jazz solo on your tongue? Yeah? I don't know about all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one is the $500 bottle of water? That's what I want to know. I would say this one. So this is not a prank. It's a no, no, no. Water, it's imported huh? from Japan. $500 water. $500 bottle of water. What makes it so expensive? You're going to see? It's just water. Just water. It has the same taste that water has. Oh, this one is better. This one's better. This one is better, yeah. Remarkably better? No doubt. It, this one is way better. This is a guitar solo on your tongue. This one tastes like water, but it's kind of dry. This is the Aquafina. No way, dude. I promise you. Yeah. This is the, this is this is the Aquafina, yeah. This is like dry water. I don't know, and it's $500 for the bottle. That's crazy. You want to taste another shot? No, this one is better. No <laughs> doubt, dude. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. So that's I should a rip off right here. <laughs> I should return it to Japan. You should return it to Japan. Yeah, so I think that's awesome. I mean, it's very expensive, you know, but. Swarovski crystals. Looks but... nice, yeah. First impression? So maybe I'm tripping, but this one is really soft. Okay. And then the flavor, it's just, you can taste water nowadays, you know? So. You know your water. I'm very impressed. Okay. So let's see. Now that, okay. that, that seems like that one. Already. Okay, all right. And this one kind of has uh, like a, like a, like I would say like a mineral flavor, like a okay. dirty, like, you know, like in, in the sense of it has a flavor, I can tell that it probably was distilled. So I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, okay. not cheating, that this was this one and this was this one. <laughs> okay, so that's your final answer. Yes, sir, am I wrong? You're wrong, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Ladies out there, please hit my man Raphael. Raphael 87. <laughs> Alrighty, got it. <laughs> Alright, here, go. right, here we go, folks. <laughs> now, everyone but me has tasted the luxurious Black Queen, and quite frankly, I'm ready to try it out. Now, the Felico Black Queen came with a few things the bottle, the wings, I think, and this crown. It reeks of luxury. Let's open it up. And here's the wing set right here. Looks pretty lavish, not gonna lie. We'll set this down. And here we have the queen's cap right here. Has these mysterious little black crystals right here. Not sure what these are. And of course, a nice little insulated cap for our water bottle. The black queen herself. Epic B-roll.
Truly breathtaking. And it came with a personalized letter just for me here. International Premium Wasu. Yeah, and it basically just has the breakdown of why this was so expensive. A good hundred dollars of this was just importing it into my country. We got some advertisements for other random, more luxurious waters perhaps. Oh, baby. And of course it came with an asymmetrical boob model from Europe advertising the bottle right here. Very pretty model, I must say. Props to their marketing team. And then on the back, we have a quick how-to guide on how to drink water. For dummies though, we don't need that. Anyways, folks, we all know that this bottle is supremely gorgeous. I'm not sure what metal these wings are made out of, but something lavish. We have roughly three fourths of the bottle left here and I'm ready to guzzle it down. We're gonna uncap the crown cap right here. Everyone who has tasted it thus far has yet to be impressed, which really bothers me. So I'm gonna come into this with zero expectations. I just wanna know if it's good or bad. Wish me luck. It can't be. One more sip, hold up. Yeah, I hate to say it. There's a chalky richness to this water, indicative of some sort of minerally enhanced flavor direction they were going for. With this though, surprisingly enough, there's an unusual sense of smoothness, like I'm cruising down a waterfall of water. I I'm a bit disappointed. I don't know if I expected this water to taste like that of God's tears, but it really does pale in comparison to my 50 cent Aquafina. And that, folks, is a tragedy. Sorry, I've been watching too much anime, but I recently bought the most expensive air on the planet. This bottled air cost me a lot of money actually, so you should watch this video right here. And also, if you guys could help me get to a million subscribers, that would be epic. Hey, have a great day, retirement's good, and the water's great.